day two of the Judo Grand Prix in Zagreb, Croatia, and with most Olympic stars taking a well-earned break or others being at the wrong stage of their preparations, it was an all-new set of judoka carrying off first gold medals. In the women's under 70 kilos class, it was a happy homecoming for Barbara Matic, who had her home fans jumping with the twice junior world champion's third senior title and Croatia's first gold of the meeting. In the under 63 kilo class, Poland faced Russia, and it was Karolina Talac who emerged the winner of Diana Zigaros, the 21-year-old Russian making her first World Cup appearance. <laughs> Talac's win was Poland's first gold and revenge for teammate Katarzyna Klis's final loss to Matic. In the men's competition in the minus 81 kilo class, Alan Kubetsov won Russia's first gold medal of the tournament by beating Hungary's Laszlo Soknyai. Kubetsov is confirming his early promise and now looks set to become Russia's number two at this weight behind the Olympic champion after a string of good results. Finally, some cheer was brought to the Ukrainian fans in the under 73 kilo category as the top seed Dmitry Kanivets won all four of his fights on the way to the title and his first IJF gold medal beating Tommy Masias of Sweden in the final. It was sweet reward for missing out on selection for the Rio Olympics. The day's most memorable moment came perhaps on a note of defeat, as Kosovo's Akil Jakova failed in his bid to become his country's first male IJF medalist in any colour, being upended with an urinage for Ippon by Uzbekistan's Sukruba Tiosanov. In Kosovo, the men have yet to capture the same glory as their female judoka, who've been making history in the sport this year. This is judo. This is this is judo. This is this is judo. Judo. This is judo. This is Euronews. This is Euronews. This is Euronews.